For this project, I started with a 32 by 26 framed mirror that I had picked up from a garage sale. I showed it to you at the end of the last video. They sold it to me for a dollar. It was in its original packaging, and I guess they never used it. I kind of looked around for something to be wrong with it, but I couldn't find anything until I flipped it over to the other side and saw that there was some water damage on the very back of it, but it doesn't seem to affect anything on the front. So anyway, next I took the backing off and removed the mirror and I took Elmer's glue and put that around the perimeter of the back of the inside of the frame where the mirror would sit. And this is more, um, I'm using this as a precaution against resin leaks and not just to hold it in because I'm not really sure that Elmer's glue will alone will hold it in. And then after that, I take some silicone caulking. After I replace the mirror, I take some silicone caulking and put that uh, around the perimeter also just to make sure it's going to hold the mirror in place because it's a heavy mirror. After this is dried overnight, I flip it over and I get out my pink tumbled glass. This is glass I picked up at thrift stores and garage sales, broken up and tumbled in my large tumbler. Now this pink glass I'm making flowers with and then next I get out some stained glass and I make the uh, stems with that. I use that to make the stems. And next I get out my blue glass and start going through that and um, make some more flowers with it. Now the stems that I have here, the green stems, are stems that I've previously cut from stained glass and tumbled in my 40 pound MJR tumbler overnight just to get the sharpness off of them. Stained glass is very sharp. So here I'm just showing you this blue glass. It is so neat. It must have been a bowl or something maybe with a flat or rounded bottom. It's very three-dimensional and I love the way it makes the flowers look. So I just continue on making more blue flowers and attaching stems to to the bottom of it and mess around with this and I know it looks like I'm doing it real fast but honestly um, this took a couple days to do. I kind of put things on and took things off and put things on and messed around with it. Um, it's kind of a process. So um, anyway after I got done uh, putting these flowers the way I wanted them I actually ended up taking uh, the roses off and started making some butterflies and these butterflies I messed around with multiple times changing the colors changing the color of the bodies changing the color of the wings until finally I uh, I think at the last minute I was even still changing it I ended up just keeping them I think pink and blue all the way throughout and then um, I started messing with the jewelry. I also look for jewelry at thrift stores and garage sales, and I like to use that um, and incorporate in that into the glass art. And I use this for the center of all of the flowers. And again, this was a process, even though it looks like I'm doing it real fast. It did take me a couple of days to figure out exactly what I wanted. Sometimes I sleep on it and look at it again the next day and think, oh, maybe this would look better or that would look better. So um, anyway, then after that, I decided I was going to put a different kind of flower on it. And I started by putting a long green stem and making mini flowers with this uh, Ashland decorative filler. This is the larger pieces of the Ashland decorative filler. There's some that's kind of like um, crushed glass. And this, these pieces are a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I, what I did was I took four, four of them to make up the flower and then inside of each one I stuck a little pearl and I thought that looked real pretty and I ended up making three of these on the entire uh, perimeter of the mirror. When I was done with that, I got out my green tumbled glass and I started putting leaves all over the uh, with leaves with each of the flowers and I really like the leaves that aren't flat but that are more three-dimensional I think they add so much to the project especially with the blue glass that's three-dimensional like that 
Anyway, next I decided I'm taking all of the glass off and I laid it at the side kind of how it was. And the other thing I did was I took a photograph of it so I would remember how to put it back on. A couple of um, the ladies who watch my channel had given me that suggestion and uh, thank you for that because it really helped a lot. And then I was ready for the resin. And the reason I removed all the pieces was I thought it would be easier to spread it more evenly out around on this uh, perimeter here. So I used art resin. It's a resin I usually use, one to one ratio. Mix it for about three minutes, scraping the sides, scraping the bottom. The slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. And I mixed up quite a bit because I really wasn't sure how much I needed and I was gonna, um, make something else after that so I figured whatever extra I had I could use. So I started pouring it all over the canvas and spreading it out with my hand, with my gloved hand, and I did end up with some resin leaks. I put that tape on there thinking it might leak under that little raised wood perimeter. Um, I wasn't sure, but um, that's not where it leaked. And at the end of this video I'll show you where it leaked just <laughs> <laughs> to give you a heads up in case you end up doing a project like this, you'll know what other parts to seal. So after I had it all spread out, I went ahead and I put everything back together again like I had it. And of course, I had to refer back to my uh, picture just to make sure. Next, I put the antennae on the butterfly using some pieces of jewelry that were kind of like seed beads. Uh, it was an old necklace I picked up at a garage sale. And then I started covering each of the pieces of glass with the resin little by little. I really like it when the glass is shiny, so I just kind of went over everything with my hands. I was afraid if I poured it on, that like on those blue pieces of glass, that it would drip down on those edges. And I really didn't want a bunch of resin running over the edges or anything. So anyway, I kind of used my hand and just went over each piece of glass individually to make sure everything had some resin on it. And of course, um, you wouldn't have to do that. Some people like it the way it looks. I just happen to like it nice and shiny, so that's why I do that. And then, of course, when it's done, it has to be sitting on a flat level surface um, overnight, up to 24 hours to dry before you can move it or stand it up and it should be at temperatures between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And it should be covered with a dust cover. It's in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover. Hey everyone, <laughs> I finally finished this. You have to excuse me, I have a terrible cold. Um, and I think it turned out so pretty. I love this color blue. And for the life of me, I don't remember what it was that I broke up that was this color. But whatever it was, it had like a flat bottom, I guess, and curved up on the sides, which really was nice. But let me put this sideways so that you can see how these flowers kind of stand up here. I love the way they turned out. Anyway, um, I did have resin leak, so you saw how I taped around here because I was afraid it was going to leak from under here onto the mirror. And I didn't even think about it leaking down through there. So um, I had taped it up. I'm going to show you the back. So it leaked through the back here instead of, so I should have taped, I should have um, put something around here. And it looks like some might have leaked here too, cause that's kind of, so all around this area. So um, just keep that in mind when you're, <laughs> when you're pouring resin on something, look over the back real well. I always manage to mess this kind of stuff up, but um, <laughs> not too much leaked out. I may have had tape, I don't remember. I think I put, yeah, you can see the remnant of it. I put tape around here. So that might have helped save that. I should have glued this or put something in those crevices there to stop the leak because resin leaks can be such a mess. So anyway, I just, I just love, love, love the way this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Um, and oh, I wanted to show you my garage sale finds. I got some really good deals. Now, last week I showed you that one necklace that I had gotten um, with the butterfly 
um, that I made. It was a beautiful purple and blue necklace that I paid a dollar for. Well, at that same one, I got um, this one here for a dollar. And this is so pretty. I'm gonna bring this. So those pieces, when you take it apart, you could use it for, um, you know, with your glass art or whatever, but those are real pretty. One buck. And then um, I got some, I, like I said, I have so much glass and everything, I don't buy anything unless it's a super good deal. So this I got for a dollar. And this is that beautiful blue and it's all the way through. You can see the bottom is totally blue. And um, this, this top part is thinner, so it might not be really good for a uh, tumbled glass. This bottom piece here will be great for tumbled glass, but this uh, may be for some broken glass art. Um, I'm not sure, we'll see. And then I got these two beautiful blue glasses for 50 cents each. I thought that was a good deal. Gosh, you know, at uh, Goodwill now, all their glasses are like $2.99. They're really, their prices have gone up, at least the Goodwill by us. And then I got these two. These two I got at the same garage sale. Um, these were, this were 25 cents each. Look at this, 25 cents. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's cut glass because it's sharp. I don't know. And then this I got for a quarter also, and there's nothing the matter with it. And then I got, um, and this is blue all the way through. And then I got this other one, um, this pretty purple vase. Purple um, glass is hard to find, and this I paid a dollar for, but I still thought that was a good deal. And then I got a, another necklace and a brooch. This, um, these two I got from the same garage sale. They wanted a dollar and I offered them 50 cents. Don't be afraid. That's what they do at garage sales. You know, you barter with them. So I thought the pearls on there were pretty for 50 cents. And then this brooch for 50 cents, I thought was a good deal too. So those were my cool, gra oh, I got a mirror. Oh, I got two more things. I got this mirror. Not that I would use the uh, metal frame, you know, I don't like that, but if you want to use a mirror, you know, you could take glass out of a regular um, frame and you could put a mirror in it if you want to do um, some glass work on a mirror. So that's why I got this because um, it was, you know, cheap, it was a buck. So I thought maybe I could use the mirror and put it in something else or cut it to, you can always cut it. You could cut it with, just like you would cut stained glass to the size of the frame that you have. And uh, then the other one I got was this. I thought I could paint this or do something with it. I don't know. It was $1. They wanted two, I offered them one and they took it. I mean, it's cute just like that, but I don't really. I'll probably end up painting it and using it for something else. I could probably sand that down maybe to take the words off of it. But anyway, I thought that was cool. Another thing to do some glass art on. Anyway, those were my garage sale findings. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. If you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe and you'll be notified. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.